Hello, and Randy here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Lost Worlds, the uh, planned final episode here on this map here, uh, by the way. And uh, last episode here, skip time through the night after we finished uh, feeding the cows here. So all our uh, bales here are now silage bales. They finished their uh, fermenting process here. And we got just a little over uh, three trailer loads of bales here we need to take in. We're going to start the episode with that here. And we'll probably, at some point this episode, wrap up. We'll just do like a quick uh, tab through of our equipment here as well. Kind of typically how we uh, wrap up our maps, Evan. So, uh, where did I leave the truck at? That is an excellent question. Let's see once here. Where is the... Yeah, there's the truck. Perfect. Oh, that's actually typically where I leave it parked. I don't know why. I just I, I leave it parked back behind the uh, the bale shed a lot of the times here. Which I, you know, I guess it makes sense, right? It's behind the bale shed, so... Speaking of bale shed, we're actually not doing too bad in there. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that. The straw bales are looking a little light, maybe. Yeah, if we were to play another year on the map, Evan, I think I'd probably have to plant, like, all my fields in wheat, it looks like, or some straw producing that crop. That's, nope, it's not the right mode. How about that? Still not. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Back on the trailer here. There we go. Okay. Do it the cell point right down. Uh, nope. There it is. Over there. The little house that's over that way. Shouldn't take us too long here to uh, sell these bales here. Quick a minute. And then, of course, Evan, uh, make sure you folks uh, stay tuned here for uh, next week. We'll be uh, starting a brand new uh, map here. Uh, for those of you who follow along in the live streams here, you'll probably, and obviously I haven't live streamed it here yet. Uh, but more than likely, if we get a chance, then we'll probably uh, do a live stream on it here. So uh, by the time you folks watch this video, it'll unfortunately probably already be too uh, late. But uh, yeah, for those who catch the live stream, you'll hopefully uh, see what the new map is all about here. Um, you never know, too. Maybe we'll live stream on the map like, whoa, this is not the not the right map. Maybe we'll try something else. But uh, yes, hopefully everyone will uh, be doing a live stream on the map here. Uh, kind of give the map a quick uh, run through, get everything uh, set up. Uh, and again, I plan on probably sticking with a lot of the equipment we have here this time. We're just going to kind of continue this series on here, I figure. Uh, we'll probably switch out a few pieces of equipment here just to kind of get, yeah, this one maybe wasn't the best or that one wasn't the best. Uh, I know as far as like uh, skid loaders go, uh, the one we have now is pretty good. So we'll, we'll definitely probably be sticking with that one. Uh, that is the uh, the Bobcat uh, skid, uh, skid loader that we have there at the moment. For those who remember early on in this uh, series here, we went through a couple of different uh, skid uh, loaders there, skid steers, uh, trying to find one that would uh, work well for us, right? And uh, having uh, several complaints on them, ranging from uh, you know either the hydraulics were too slow or I forget what the other complaint was. There was another problem with one of them too, but oh, there's one that didn't lift high enough. That's what it was. Oh yeah, didn't lift high enough. And it didn't like you couldn't tip the forks once they were up, right? So like once they're up, you couldn't tip them down. It's like, well, what's the point of that? So the one we have now lifts high enough, tips, and even has a reasonable hydraulic speed. I know it's like a win-win, right, everyone? Just about unloaded them on that cell point. Say, wait a minute, no, no, I gotta be in the one over here. Gotta stay here so they don't roll off. There we go. Boom. And we got at least uh, one more full trailer here, everyone. And then I think, uh, I don't remember, there was like a couple bales left over, if I remember correctly, right? Up to $1.3 million here, which reminds me, we can uh, pay off our loan here. We'll probably do that here uh, this episode. We might actually still have a million dollars left here yet. We'll have to see once, but... Uh, might just have a million dollars. Two more bales here. Yeah, we'll have what? Okay, four bales left. Back on the trailer. There we go. One of the things I'm still uh, debating how I want to handle the other one when we uh, go to the new map. I'd kind of like to maybe see if we can take our... Ooh, jackknife in it here. Uh, I'd like to see if we can uh, maybe take our cows with us in some way. And or uh, with the cows, maybe we'll just like buy adult cows here this time around. Uh, if you remember with this uh, series, I've been like... 
we've been working on cows for, well, maybe not quite since the beginning of the map here, but we're really close to it here. And uh, we are finally to the point where we've started making some money here on the cows. Finally to uh, that point. I know it took long enough, right? Uh, and then, of course, now we're to the point where we're going to wrap this uh, series up. So, spending millions and millions of dollars on the cows, and we've... Well, I can't say we haven't made nothing, because we have been making money now the last couple episodes, but we haven't made a whole lot, right? So we're finally to that point, so it'd be nice to uh, maybe continue that uh, uh, investment here on the next uh, map. At least that's what I'm thinking anyway. We'll see you once. And as far as, like, uh, I kind of called this our rags to a riches series oven. Uh, if you remember, we started this map with basically nothing. Uh, no land. Well, I guess I should say no land. We did start with a little bit of land. So, yeah. We did not start this map with a whole lot as far as land and uh, equipment. Went. I, went, I think we've done quite well here so far. Again, as a reminder, we had to clear all, almost all the land we have. I say almost all because there was a few areas that weren't clear. But uh, for the most part, even uh, the areas that were somewhat clear, we still had a couple of trees. We still had to uh, clean off in a few spots. Okay. Last uh, four bales. There we go. $21,909. It's bummer because there's like one more bale in the baler that's like almost full, right? I mean, I think it was like 94% or something like that. Uh, I suppose we could probably like go mow a little bit somewhere if we really wanted to, but then we're not going to bother. I mean, close enough. One point, oh, so close to $1.5 million, too, right? I mean, so close, but not quite. Oh, well. Just no leaves on the trees yet. Huh. Middle of December, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Let's go uh, park the truck back where I typically keep it over here by the bale shed. And we are done moving bales here on this map. Now, as for the next map, Evan, I don't know. We, we might be moving more bales on the next map. We'll have to uh, see you once here. Yeah, straw bales, Evan, were... Boy, I don't think we have enough straw bales, Evan, to make it through the uh, winter here. Well, we might have enough to make it through the winter, but then we got to make it like a couple more months until the wheat is ready to harvest, right? If we were, again, if we were to continue playing on this map, which we're not going to, but uh, yeah. Wow. Speaking of cows here, skip time through the night. How much have they used? Whew. The cows are definitely using a lot more feed than they were before, Evan. Uh, used to be I could skip... Um, probably like a couple of days here before I'd have to feed them. Now, I mean, I skipped one day, and they're already about halfway. Actually, they might be... Eh, it doesn't look like it's quite halfway. It's close, but not quite halfway. Straw doesn't look like it's too bad yet, but uh, yeah, the cows are definitely going through a lot more feed now. I don't know how many cows we have in here. Is there... Yeah, it's such a mess with the cows here. I mean, I don't know what is going on with this. Like, we got one here, three there, six, eight, three, eleven, one, ten, four, one, three, two, seven, one, 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 eleven, five, three. Yeah, like, oh, what in the world? It's kind of annoying. I don't know about you folks, but uh, I'm definitely not liking this mess here. Just, it seems like such a mess. But uh, I, I, I get what's going on. Not all the cows are at the same stage, but still. Uh, age five months, we could actually probably... Yeah, they're not really worth a whole lot, are they? Well, these might be 458. Get rid of all the bull cows because they're just uh, eating food is what they're doing. Let's see. If we go to... Where is it? I think is it on this side. Yeah, I think this is the one. No. Oh, animals. Okay, at least it shows right there. We've got 116 animals in there at the moment. Uh, did we start with 60? I don't remember how many we started with again, but anyway, there's 116 now at this point. And if we go uh, check our money here, we are making ooh, 145,000 so far on that one, huh? Sold milk is continuing to go up here. So uh, August, I think August was the first month we probably actually started making some money. I'm gonna start out $23,000. We basically tripled that for September, 63,000. Looks like we then doubled that for October. And eh, November, a little bit higher. December, yeah, same story, a little bit higher, another 15000 So, And then uh, sold products. I'm, I was asking, or I think I mentioned this here a couple episodes back. I wasn't sure what that was. What that actually probably is, Evan, is the silage over here is, oh, I should this way. Uh, the silage over here is selling from the silo. So we are making eh, $56,000, $58,000 a day on the silage. 
So not a bad little uh, gate going on over here as well. Uh, there's probably still, yeah, still quite a bit of silage in here yet. Everyone. Um, again, as I said before, I kind of find that to be a little bit annoying because at the rate this silo is going, I mean, it probably has enough in here to like last an entire in-game year. Which, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like that. I'm like, come on now, really? It shouldn't take that long. That's a little bit uh, ridiculous. That needs to be like cranked up by about a factor of 10 here. So if you ask me, well, that's just uh, my opinion. So yeah, like I said, we'll see if we can uh, maybe, uh, again, we maybe won't take the exact cows we have over here, but we'll see if we can take the cows similar to what we have over here and bring them to the next map. Well, with that being said, let's maybe uh, see what's what we got uh, as far as equipment goes on the map here, and we'll uh, look at wrapping this uh, this map up here. So we'll just kind of tab through our equipment, see what's what we got. Oh, let's uh, check our statistics screen here as well. I always like looking at this and see what's what uh, we worked as far as uh, field and seed and play time here. Two, wow, 287 hours on this map, Evan. Sure does not feel like I played on the map that many hours, but... Uh, According to the game, Evan, we got 287 hours on this map. Wow. Uh, worked hectares, uh, just under 1,100. Cultivated, not a lot. Plowed, sown, 161 acres. Oh, those are actually acres, too, aren't they? Sprayed 551 acres, huh? Harvested 179 acres. Didn't harvest any olives or grapes. Uh, so far, speaking of watch, Evan, Farming Simulator 22 here. Obviously, we're getting close to wrapping this up here. Uh, I believe I've only done olives and grapes once here so far in Farming Simulator 22. Maybe twice? Olives, for sure, I think were only once. Like grapes, I might have done twice. But yeah, we have, I've, yeah, really, I've not done much with olives and grapes. You know, single row at a time. It's great, great time, everyone. Uh, work time, cultivation time, sowing time, spraying time. Yeah, quite a bit of spraying time. Quite a bit of harvesting time, 63 hours of harvesting. We drew 515 miles, or drove, I should say, drove 515 miles. Fuel usage, oh, that's okay, I was going to say, wait, half again, no. 1,458 gallons, wow, fertilizer usage, then that's, oh, five, wait, 559,000, no, yeah, 559,000 gallons, okay. That's, uh, that's a lot of gallons there. 748 seed usage. Oh, bales. Uh, do we have bales here? Trees cut. Uh, we cut down 260 trees, for those who are curious. I uh, didn't realize we cut down that many trees, but yeah, we cut down a lot of trees. I've been clearing the land here. Bales produce 666. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> okay. Maybe we better go produce that one more bale in a minute, everyone. Yeah, we better uh, we better go make one more bale here. I think that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. We are, uh, we are in trouble there. <clears throat> I just seen that lady. Oh, boy. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go through our equipment here real quick, Evan. And like I said, uh, we'll see what we got here. Only 3.9 hours on this tractor, huh? Wow. Would have thought there would have been a little bit more time on this tractor. I, again, as a reminder, the farm all tractors are a massive flop here on this series, Evan. Uh, nice looking tractor, but they got some serious transmission issues. They do okay with the cows over here. Not too bad. So worked out good for that. But yeah, as far as like actual field work. Absolute garbage. Um, little Massey Ferguson 135. Didn't use this tractor a whole lot here, especially as we started getting into the farming here again. Kind of the problem when you're doing small farms like this, I mean, there's just not a lot of equipment that this tractor can pull in the game. If you ask me, there's equipment it should be able to pull, but just uh, either the way the mod author has set the tractor up or the game works, it just it can't pull it. So, well, a little uh, Ford V8 tractor here. Got that on the lime spreader here. Ah, good old trusty truck. Three and a half hours on that. Sweet, actually, let's go back. How much was on the Massey Ferguson? Only one hour. Yeah, I was going to say, we didn't use this tractor a whole lot. This one here probably has a fair amount. 18.1 hours. Yeah, spread and lime, everyone. And, of course, the lime spreader we have is this little uh, John Deere LF12 spreader there, I guess. It's, it's pretty much just a drop spreader. Oh, can you folks imagine trying to... I don't think this thing would even... Uh, accomplish a whole lot nowadays. I mean, you'd have to be like constantly uh, filling this, uh, at least for lime anyway. If you ever spread lime, I mean, like lime is usually spread fairly heavy. Like, yeah, uh, like a lot of lime. I mean, so when you do a field, typically you bring it into the field by the truckload. And uh, at least around here, a lot of times, 
either you dump it right on the field or you have like a continuous stream of trucks running just to keep up with the spreader so but uh, yeah a lot of times just you dump uh lots and lots of truckloads on the field and then when the spreader comes it comes pulling its own uh, like telehandler for loading the spreader so again just lots and lots of lime so yeah if you had to do lime with that oh my goodness I mean, that'd be absolutely brutal oh john deere comment should probably mention that uh, we have zero acres and zero hours, huh? Huh, okay. I wonder if that date is all, like, on the headers. Weird that it doesn't even have, like, any hours on it. John Deere 6620 Turbo Combine here. Sixty-four acres. There we go. That's at least just on this header here. I presume there's probably at least a few more on the corn head. Although we didn't harvest a whole lot with the corn head. One, uh, a lot of the corn we got chopped. So uh, there's our bobcat. Good little bobcat. I'm in the bobcat T870. If you're looking for a good uh, bobcat, definitely worth checking out. I know there's one other one we tried. I think it was also an 870, if I remember correctly. It looked a little bit uh, different. That one was definitely not as nice. Now that our farm old tractor, this is the 806 with our silage blower on it. Uh, suffered from the same problem as the 1206 has some serious uh, transmission issues. So as far as like actual field work goes, another absolute garbage tractor. So kind of a shame. Good looking tractor. Uh, I mean, did I say that out loud? But uh, yeah, just can't pull nothing in the field with it. John Deere Model A styled one and then we have an unstyled one around here somewhere or what yeah i always forget which way this goes this is the styled one right got all the covers and the, the front i have to go look at the other one to double check and make sure but uh yeah uh john deere 4020 we got a couple of these uh 4020s uh floating around here pulling our uh new holland haybine ah there we go john deere another john deere a, a tractor yep same one as the other one just unstyled and then we got oh that's actually another do i have three of these Oh, no, I was going to say, I thought I only had two. Yeah, there's the Henry behind us there. Another John Deere 4020. This one has the cab. Had duels on it when we first started the series, too. We should probably, uh, just because we're wrapping up the series, we put the uh, duels back on this tractor so it's like it was when we uh, started. So many, yeah, zero dollars. Yep. If you have a customization, you've already bought one. And it shouldn't cost you anything to go back to that customization. So because we already had this uh, uh, set of tires bought, it's not costing us anything to go to it. Weird, though, how it costs uh, money. I think if I remember correctly, I think we had to pay when we took the duels off, which I, like, really? You take the duels off. Why are we having to pay, like, uh, I think it was like a couple thousand dollars or something, wasn't it? So, anyway, John Deere 4020. Oh, that's going to right, mix up our tab order, didn't it? Oh, yes, the little Alice uh, Chalmers uh, sprayer. Yeah, that thing looks like a death trap. Not to mention an open cab. Eh, interesting, a white field boss, uh, a 2155 here. Started getting up into the larger tractors, you know, cabs on them. I mean, wow. Talk about uh, riding in style here, right? I mean, I mean, if we go back to, well, even comparing it to this, I mean, look at the seat on this thing. No cab. Uh, motors right up front here probably has all of like five horsepower from the looks of it uh, ran by like a bicycle chain down to the tire here pivots uh actually where does the pivot i guess the pivot's actually like right here isn't it okay so yeah pivots right there looks like the battery right at, right at our feet there actually does have cylinders there for folding this thing out it looks like i thought at first maybe there was no cylinders on it but nope it does actually have folding cylinders uh, John Deere 30 at 20, pulling our case hay bind there. Uh, very dirty uh, Minneapolis Moline G1355, one of the first higher horsepower tractors we got here for pulling choppers and stuff like that. Speaking of which, of course, with the choppers, we had some issues, had to do some uh, horsepower modifications there, but we made it work. And a whole plethora of forage boxes here. Actually, I think I got rid of some of them. Must have got rid of some of them. I think I got rid of the John Deere's and the New Hollands there. So, yep. Oh, Alice Chalmers, another cab tractor there. 80, 70 higher horsepower pulling our tool spreader there. Not actually sure what it's doing down here, but anyway. Oh, yes, and our grain truck we bought here a couple episodes back just to uh, sell some stuff. 
Didn't use this one a whole lot. International 1486, another higher horsepower cab tractor. Suffers from, it seems like a little bit of a transmission issue like our other red tractors, but not quite as bad. At least it seems to be usable here so far, so... Another, oh, now this is a 44-30. I was going to say, wait, another 40-20. Nope. John Deere 44-30 here. 141 acres on that, huh? That's, wow. Uh, with 25.3 hours on the tractor. That's a lot of acres on that uh, chisel plow there. Out of curiosity, how much is uh, you on the other one? Yes, you are. 33 acres on that one. This is our newest uh, chisel plow one. We just bought this one. So plowed a couple of fields with it there. I'm not even sure how much land we technically even have of one. We got, now... Yeah, for those of you seeing the map here, I don't know what this equates to property-wise, but we got uh, six fields, most of them not particularly large. Oh, yes, and our John Deere 2280 mower. We'll have to see once. Maybe that'll make it to the next series as well. John Deere 4840 there. I forget, what, what, do, we, what do we need this track? Oh, I think it was the uh, other chopper, right? I believe it was the John Deere chopper we needed a larger tractor for, so I was like, well, we'll try the 4840. Uh, uh, again, just one of those cases where, I don't know if it's the game's fault or the mod author's fault, but we needed, uh, like, more horsepower than what it really probably should need, in my opinion. Like, some of our tractors should have been able to pull this chopper, I think, but they, yeah, they just could not pull it. So, this one here is a three-row chopper versus the uh, two-row New Holland here. Our uh, John Deere 7000 series corn planter, John Deere 100 chisel plow. I think this was a roller for the grass. I think we used it like one time, never again. Our planter probably doesn't quite fit the uh, style of what we were going for here on this map. We'll have to see once. Maybe we'll find something better for the next uh, video. Uh, our spreader didn't really use that one a whole lot. I mean, that one, uh, yeah, didn't use it a whole lot. Actually, if we go uh, back to it here a minute, see what we got. Four and a half acres. Yeah, like I said, we did not use that spreader a whole lot. Uh, I think we maybe used it like once in the beginning. That was probably about it. Other than that, we've been uh, using a lot of manure and slurry on our fields here for fertilizer. Of course, the line was done with those little spreaders right there. So, yeah. And then we did some liquid fertilizer a few times as well. Our brilliant coli mulcher. I was always going to see if I could take the wings off this. Then I think it'd fit a little bit better with our... Our series here on this map, and then not to mention, too, uh, probably a little bit more pullable by some of our tractors, but never got around to that. International Cedar here. This one, I think, is a little bit better fit here for what we got going on. Sprayer, kind of already touched on that. Our uh, John Deere Baylor definitely does not fit what we were doing on the map, but, hey, it uh, got the job done. Had the wrapper on it. That's kind of what I wanted, so. Ah, uh, yes, then our New Holland uh, Manure Spreader. And then also our John Deere Sprayer, Toe Behind Sprayer. Little, uh, I think this is a little cultivator. I don't believe we've ever used it. It's, it's sitting there. J&M uh, Gravity Wagon. It was a little bit big for the tractors we had. So we did start off using it. But uh, once I found some better ones, and, well, I say better ones, a better one, running the Parker over here, that seemed a little better fit for the tractors we had. So, yeah, I think with that, I mean, that's about it here for the map. We're going to wrap it up here. Oh, before I forget, let's see if we can uh, pay off the loan here. That is actually, yeah, go go to that one there. We're going to do a special redemption. Amount to be paid is 342671. There we go. And loans have been all paid off. We have zero loans. We still have $1.1 million in the bank. So on that note, I think I'll see you folks here on the next map. So again, uh, stay tuned here next week, Kevin. We'll be back uh, playing on the next map here. And oh, there's a header hiding in there. Yeah, the pickup head for the hay here for our chopper. So yeah. Like I said, stay tuned here next week. We'll kind of probably be picking up sort of where we left off with this map. And just uh, maybe a little bit different equipment and, of course, a different map. So stay tuned for that. Again, thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. And till next time. Let's see if I can zoom out here. Can we get a... There we go. So, yeah. Till next time, everyone.